What's up guys, in this video we'll be talking about nightlife in Medellin before, during, and after the action. With so much going on in Colombia's party city, it may be hard to take it all in, and you may find yourself going to the same few spots your entire vacation, which is what you do not want to do. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks to navigate those fun streets of Medellin. Let's get it! This is Provenza. Not going to say out too much, too much rain, but we're going to head it out and check it out. Okay, first thing first, where to party? Now, of course, Medellin is a pretty huge city, so where to party will really depend on what type of nightlife scene you're looking for. Do you want a bar scene? Do you want a nightclub vibe? Do you want to meet locals? Or you just want to party with other tourists? Well, either way, I have good news for you. Most roads are going to lead to Provenza or Parque Lleras. Now, most people can't tell the difference between the two areas, and that's for good reason. Parque Lleras and Provenza actually are only a few blocks away from each other. And to make matters a little more confusing, they're both located in the same neighborhood, Blo Blau. Now, do not get it confused. Although they're only a couple blocks away from each other, uh, they do have some key differences. For example, Parque Lleras is super packed with tourists. I mean, Provenza is too, but because Parque Lleras has the bigger name amongst foreigners, it, it gets pretty flooded. Um, but besides it being a little less touristy, I say Provenza has more of a club feel with some places having a dress code and charging a cover. You also could get bottle service vibes. So if that's what you're looking for, Provenza is the better option for you. Also, just for disclosure, prices in some places in Provenza can get a little hefty. So make sure you bring your credit card, you know, if you don't like to bring too much cash. This area is actually known, uh more to be for locals uh, of a certain crowd if you know what i'm saying a little more flashy and it's, it's frequented by some colombian artists even carol g who's probably the biggest colombian artist in the world right now made a song about it and uh in other words you know when you go there just dress to impress um be, be prepared to spend a little little cash and all that all that stuff on the flip side Parque jerez will definitely be your spot if you don't want to deal with you know, like covers or dress codes, uh, more upscale type of crowd. If that's not your vibe, then you definitely want to head to Parque Jadis. The spots in this area will pretty much take anyone who is bringing dollars through the door. Um, it's also an area more geared, you know, for bars and outdoor scenes. So if you're looking for a more social vibe, I think it's a better option. I do think it's worth mentioning, you know, you have Provenza y Parque Jadis and those are two major party areas but there is nightlife scenes outside of those two so for example if you want to completely escape from the tourist scene you can head to calle la 77 uh, street 77 which is in laureles neighborhood and you know there you're going to find a lot of bars uh, a lot of um a lot of nightlife and you can really get like the true feeling of the city outside of the tourist zone. And I also made a video there if you guys wanna check it out. Uh, I'll put it in the description. Um, there also are like full live band type places that almost are like a fusion between bar and disco club. Like it's, it's kind of interesting. So just walking around those areas and trying to get a feel of what you wanna do is a good idea. Also there's uh, rooftops as well. You can head to a rooftop and get a crazy vibe. And remind me to circle back on rooftops because that's going to bring us into the next topic, which is music. Now, unlike my video on Cartagena, where I explain how a large majority of the music you'll hear in um, that city is going to be mainly like Latin music. And Medellin isn't like that. There's a lot more options and it's much more versed in switching up the vibes. You'll find everything in Medellin from reggae music to hip hop, pop music. I mean, I was really blown away and this wasn't my first time in Medellin, but it was my first time like really, you know, kind of peeping the scene and, and realizing because, you know, when you're most, most of the time when you're partying, you're not really taking into account like what music is being played. You're just vibing out. But this time, I, especially after coming from Cartagena, uh, not too long ago, I wanted to pay attention to the difference and I definitely found it to be interesting how much different it was and man, I mean, there's even, and this is the rooftop point I was talking about, 
There's even supposedly a rooftop in Medellin that has like a Afro beats night, which is crazy. Um, it just shows, you know, Medellin is truly like embracing being an international party hub. And that's what it's turned to. And it's definitely taken on that identity. Um, there's some spots in Medellin where you may even get tired of hearing to non-Latin music. Like I know I was one of them. I was in a spot and they were playing so much music from back home. I was like, yo, I feel like I'm in a club in New York. Like where's the, uh, where's the Latin vibe at? So it definitely has a lot more options for you. Um, one place I highly recommend if you're one of those looking, you know, to get more music that you're probably more comfortable with and, you know, pop music, hip hop music is the spot called La House, which is in Provenza. Um, this place is huge. I'm talking about two floors minimum. It might've even been a third floor, but it's definitely two floors, um, huge. And it has different rooms that play different music, right? So downstairs, they may be playing reggaeton, but upstairs, they may be playing hip hop. So you kind of get the option to go to wherever the vibe matches you. So I know a lot of people would like that because um, a lot of people like to be around music, you know, you may not speak Spanish or you may just be in a certain vibe and you want to switch it up. So that's a good spot to, to, to head out to. Um, but besides that, uh, there's a, a bunch of spots, man. I mean, the places in Medellin really do keep a rotation. Like even when you're walking around, the promoters will straight tell you this spot played top 40, reggaeton, uh, reggae. Like they'll just do a list of stuff and they're being truthful, honestly. From what I've seen, the most of the spots do not keep a, 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 a night long reggaeton um, playlist. They definitely switch it up. And my recommendation stays the same from what I said on the Cartagena video. Make sure you just talk to the promoters in the street. You know, a lot of people find them annoying, but they do have some key information. You could go to them and they'll definitely let you know um, what it is and where to go. So just keep that in mind. All right, next stop is going to be restaurants and why you should not skip finding a lit one. <laughs> so Medellin is pretty unique in the fact that the party starts even before the pregame. Many dinner spots in Medellin come well equipped to get the party started. From the people, the entertainment, Medellin restaurants and dinner spots, um, like the few I went to, you know, the bowling spot I went to, um, the it's a Mexican spot I went to. Man, look, they usually, like I said, come with entertainment, come with a vibe, music blasting, inexpensive drinks. Sometimes they got live music and it you can't help but get in the zone for the turn up for the night. So, you know, a lot of people opt before going out to order in. I'm going to order Uber Eats or wrap you up and run to KFC real quick. Nah, man, find a spot, find a lit, lit spot on TikTok, get the vibe started and kick the night off right and you will not regret it. That's like a key thing that you should not miss. All right, guys, last but not least is the after hour spot. One thing is for sure, Medellin's nightlife scene leaves little to be desired when the clock strikes 3 a.m. But for those special few of us who do not want the night to end, it could be a bummer to find out most spots in Plobla or probably where you're partying at probably are also gonna close at 3 a.m. So you may get out of spot at 3 a.m. and you still wanna party and you're like, all right, let's hop over to the next bar, the next spot, just to find out that next spot is closed. So that could be pretty much a bummer, right? But for those people who are into making the night last, I got I got some good news, you're in luck. Um, so there's an after hour area that most tourists do not know about and it goes hard into 6 a.m. Trust me, I was there, so I know it. Um, this spot was recommended to us by some locals. You know, it was after the party ended. We got to the party pretty late, honestly. We got to the party at like 1 a.m. So, you know, 1 a.m., um, after a few drinks, you're just getting into the groove. So, you know, they said, hey, head over to this spot, and they'll be going to 6 a.m. So the spot is in San Fernando. Um... And it's like a strip of clubs. And it was exactly what they said. It was open. It was bussing. Um, it had several options to go to. And it was, man, it did not disappoint. People were still out there partying, going hard. It was mostly locals. So prices were great. Music was great. Everything was, was rocking. So it's a, a, a great option to have 
after 3 a.m. Or if you, you, who knows, you may have got in late, you may have got a late flight and, you know, maybe 2 a.m. after you unpacked everything, you ready to hit, hit the, uh, the party scene. That's just spot you want to go to. I put the map up here so you know. Um, we went to one of the, the, the last bar you could pick, but like I said, it was a bunch of options. Um, and it's the best way to party until the sun comes up. So make sure you hit that spot. Uh, yeah, guys, that's that's all I got here. That's my nightlife guide to Medellin. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, hope you guys got some good info. And what else? Like, comment, subscribe. You know you got to do that. Please support the channel. It cannot survive without your support. It's your boy, y'all check in. Do it on YouTube. Dude that does a lot of things on YouTube, but certainly not a YouTuber. Let's go. What's up, guys? If you like the shirt you see me wearing in this video or any of my other videos, check out the description box below to get yours.